Hello, I'm Diego Lopez. And I'm Erin Nieto. And welcome to The Morning Show. Time is running out for GHS staff, students, and community members to vote for our very own broadcasting teacher, Mr. Gonzalez, as he tries to win the Chamber of Commerce Educator of the Year Award. The award will be presented on Saturday night, but you can still get your vote in. Students, if you want to vote, please ask one of your teachers to supply you with the link. Teachers, share the link with students if they ask, and let's get the victory for Mr. Gonzalez and Grants High School. We also have big news from the recent local science fair. Brandy Bassett earned the grand prize while Gracie Metzger was the runner-up. So big congratulations to them. Other first place winners include Vi Alicia Vallejos, Rico Valencia, Joelle Small, Joseph Martinez, Sofia Romazada, Romasana, no Noah Lundstrom, Allison Hobbs, and Trey Hardy. We will bring you more information about science fair in a future morning show, so stay tuned. Hello guys, I'm Elijah Marcus here with Maddie Chill and your boys basketball crew. First off, today we have to unfortunately announce that the girl, GHS girls basketball team was bounced out of the district tournament 53-29 by the Valencia Jaguars. The loss ended the girls season, but this is a young team and should see some good things happen next year. To the boys, and today we're going to give you some information about this year's basketball district 5A, 4A tourney. That's Pirates, we'll play the Belen Eagles and the game will be held at the Port of the Pirates tonight at 6 p.m. This year, the Pirates went 16-10 and 10 overall with their most recent game being against Valencia, where Bodie Malonis hit a buzzer beater three to win the game. Bodie Malonis and Noah Victorio and John Harisic have been the Pirates' top performers this year, helping the Pirates to their most successful season in some time. Valencia's top performers were Jordi Rojo and Damian Avila, and they both helped the Eagles stay in a close game in the district race. With a win tonight, the Pirates can help their cause to host the first round of state game here at the Port. Seedings will announce this weekend, and we will keep you posted on them. Tonight's game will be also broadcasted on Angry Jack Productions, so tune in at 5.30 pregame. <laughs> Finally, students, there's a special theme tonight, and it's Neon Night, so pull out your bright colored clothes and come out and support the Pirates. There will be giveaways to the loudest rowdy crowd students, so get ready to make some noise. So that's all we have for you guys. A reminder that the Angry Jack Productions crew will broadcast the game live through our YouTube page and there will be a special live audio stream of the game as well. The broadcast will begin at 5.30 p.m. with a special pregame show that was put together by members of the broadcasting class, so check it out. At the state wrestling tournament over the weekend, boys wrestler Larry Metter came away with a third place trophy to cap off an amazing wrestling career at JHS. Let's watch the interview that Isaiah Ortega did with Larry yesterday. What's up guys, I'm Isaiah Ortega here with the JHS broadcasting team. Today I'm here with the Larry Metter. So, first of all, bro, I just want to say congratulations on the incredible run you had getting fourth place. Third, third place. Sorry, sorry. Third place in the state tournament. I mean, congratulations to you in your senior year. But, you know, to start off my interview, I want to ask you, with an incredible season, man, how do you feel right now? Like, you you join a group of guys, like, leaving your mark at, here at Grants High School. What are your, like, how are you feeling right now? I feel great. I felt awesome throughout the season. Be able to go down to 45 pounds and just destroy everything I can do. Right. Let's go. So you dropped down 45 pounds. I was my original weight is 155. No, 157. Okay. It was going through your head in that last match, knowing you weren't gonna get first place. Like, did you know you were gonna win that third place match right away? Yes, I did because I was really, I like how do I say this? Um, mad, really angry because. I really wanted to take state this year, and I didn't get there. So I said, whoever faces me, you're going to get probably hurt, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I get that. You know, that leads me to my final question perfectly, man. Like, I was talking to a car the other day, and it was like, how, like we thought you were going to take first, right? So, like, us being upset about it, I know you're beyond mad about it, right? So my question to you is, how, like, it had to have left a bad taste in your mouth, right? Like, how does it feel that... You're done wrestling here at Grants High School. That was your last time touching a mat. 
It's really sad that knowing it was my last time ever wrestling, but it wasn't like really touching the mat that right. was the sad part. It's yeah. like all the family I've made, friends, that's what really hurt the most. Right. I won't be able to be beside them all the time like I used to do. Yeah, I mean, you can see that too. Like the football players already miss you, and I know you were captain on wrestling, so there's going to be a big gap now that you're gone. All right, Larry, my last question to you, bro, is... You care to give me a little sneak peek here on what you're going to do, wrestling or football, Highlands or whoever else you got? The only thing I got to say is it's close to home. Close to home. You hear here, folks. Hey, you know, good luck wherever you go. Thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. you. Also at the state wrestling tournament, Raina Valdez finished fourth at state, and she is only a sophomore, so she will have two more years to capture the blue trophy. Cardenio Chavez spoke with Raina about these and other topics. Let's take a look. Hello everybody, I'm Carlino Chavez with the GHS Broadcasting Team and today I'm here with Reyna Valdez with the GHS Wrestling Team and I'm going to be asking her a few questions. So Reyna, with my first question is, going into state as a sophomore, what was your mindset and do you think you were ready for it? Um, my mindset, I was, I think I was ready. Like, my head, I like knew already, I knew I wrestled all these girls before, I already know how they wrestle. So I was kind of ready for that, and I've never, this was my first time being at state, and I was a little nervous just because I was like, oh, it's state, it's like a big tournament, but it wasn't that bad after like my first match, you know? Yeah, so. going into sophomore is a big thing, ready going to state, yeah. you know? But, and for my second question is, how was the atmosphere there, and were you nervous, all, nervous at all with so many people watching? The atmosphere was good. I feel like wrestling, it's like, like the tournaments have like one of the best atmospheres. There's like just good vibes and even like you're wrestling people, but even afterwards, you guys are like, should be on good terms still, like good sportsmanship. And um, I was a little nervous because there was a lot of people there, a lot of people. And then especially for my third place uh, match, there was only a few mats out and everyone was just watching. And yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I saw some videos. It looked like it was pretty big. It's a big <laughs> it old was. stadium. And for my last question I'm going to be asking you is, you got fourth place, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So getting fourth place as only a sophomore, how bright of a future do you think you have in wrestling? Oh, I think I have a pretty bright future, honestly. Next year, we're coming. We're coming for the gold, the big blue trophy, and I think I'm going to get it. I, uh, the girl that placed second from Bloomfield, I beat her twice. And the girl uh, that placed first from Socorro, I wrestled her, and I had a pretty good match with her. So I think we should be good next year. Think you're going to get the edge yeah. of the next year? Mm -hmm. All right, well, well, I'll be waiting, so Thank that's you. all I have for today. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, we are GHS, GHS for Success. success.